Hey guys, uh, Justin here. Um, so I've been getting a lot of your emails and Facebook messages and tweets and stuff. And um, I guess my most frequent request from you guys is you've been asking me to do these. Another one of my uh, master copy paintings. Um, and I figured since this is my 100th video, um, in celebration of that, I would kind of just do a tutorial for you guys so you guys can make some art of your own. Because I, I firmly believe that Real good art belongs to the populace. I don't. I don't think it's something that um, the intellectual or artistic elites like me necessarily have a, a monopoly on. Uh, so uh, let's get started. I'll just um, kind of do a little walkthrough, and you guys could probably like fill in the gaps if I'm not very thorough. I don't really do this sort of thing. So um, let's get started. Um, oh, by the way, just um. Just forgive me for my voice. I, I, I have AIDS, so it's kind of hard for me to speak right now. So, <clears throat> anyway, I'll, I'll do my best not to stumble through this. So, you need to start with uh, a base painting, just kind of something to base your piece off of. Um, and I just thought of the pretty canonical example of of classical art is uh, Botticelli. Uh, let's see, I think it's called The Birth of Venus. You know, the one with so this piece is actually pretty interesting um, incidentally this 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 piece is responsible for uh, the birth of Lady Gaga's career um, she actually cites the birth of Venus by Botticelli as the the starting point of the incipients of uh, the fame monster her very first album and the song Poker Face is actually very much based on this on this painting. Um, so this is going to be uh, the, this painting uses um, a technique called that over lean, and you can kind of tell from this. Usually, there's kind of like an undercoat of like lean paint that you kind of thin out with turpentine, and uh, the really thick oily stuff like, like kind of shows up in certain areas, and you can kind of you just kind of feel the texture and like really you know anyway so you're going to use MS Paint if you don't if you're not familiar um, with MS Paint it's kind of an updated version of Photoshop um, you'll notice the simplicity which I really appreciate um, Photoshop has a lot of buttons and features that I just don't know what the hell they do so MS Paint's pretty good because it kind of just cuts through all that obfuscation. So, as I said, we're using Fat Over Lean. Um, and so we're going to have to start with kind of a base color. And I'm just kind of looking at this painting, and it's kind of like, it's got kind of a pusey, like pea soup kind of greenish to it. So we're just going to kind of start with the coarse tool, um, get some green in there. Um, this is probably too thin of a brush, so let's. Let's go bigger. Um, and you know, you notice I'm artfully uh, leaving some white space. Sometimes painting is often, it's often about uh, the interplay between negative and positive space. It's not always what you paint, but sometimes it's about what you don't paint. So, we want to get some gray in here as well. That's going to really help the nuance. It's a very nuanced procedure here. So get that gray in there. Um, so as for the foreground, Venus here, is she's kind of like a cylindrical sort of, and I'm seeing the shapes tool here. So we're going to make a little cylinder just to kind of make a gesture, like kind of an indication of Venus. So here we go. That's going to kind of you want to get the proportions right. I kind of so we got the head, which is one head's length, the torso, which is about two head's lengths, so that's about two, and then she's kind of in a weird contrapposto pose right here. Um, actually, I don't see how physically like she's standing up right now, unless there's like a rod, like maybe like this is like a prosthetic leg, and she's got some of those Michael Jackson boots on, which is kind of like nailed to the ground. Um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, we need some basic form for 
her legs. So I'm going to just go in. It's kind of like a, a risky kind of going freehand because you know, you're really outside of the jurisdiction of geometry. It's kind of like you're going all organic. And like, yeah, there we go. So you notice this leg's a little smaller because it's uh, we like to call that foreshortened in, in, uh, in the business. A little lingo you can throw out there. Just want to impress some people. So I'll be using some esoteric terms uh, throughout this video in case. Uh, so I think I'm really liking that. I'm kind of like improvising. Like I know her hand's not doing that, but. Like you know, you can you can kind of take artistic liberties. It's a master copy. It's not a recreation. So I'm gonna get. She looks. I guess she's an autumn color. I don't, I don't really know what autumn and spring color means, but I think that's what she is. So we're gonna use kind of a warmish palette for her eyes. Now you you might ask me why I'm using yellow for her eyes. Now painting is often. It's a, ga a game of perceived colors. Like what you perceive as yellow is actually like blue in my head. You know, it's, it's I have the beholder. You don't really know. Like you can know the frequency of a color, but like what does that even mean? Like it's like the hard problem of consciousness. Like what you think is yellow is like hazel to me. You know, anyway. So she's kind of a, like a redhead. So, so I'm gonna add some like, oops, there we go, there we go. Now this is a technique I kind of learned from watching old Bob Ross uh, episodes, The Joy of Painting on PBS. Um, I'd always come home from school, like rush home to kind of catch it. It was, it's always on at like two thirty. I'm like. School got out at like one, so like on Fridays. So I would always like catch his show. Kind of that's where I kind of picked up some of these techniques. You know, you don't really make mistakes; you make happy accidents. Um, that's good. Oh, I like that. Let's just go with one of these guys. So it's kind of yeah. All right, so I think we're nearing. So, uh, um, we're going to try that and finish. Uh, oops, I don't want that. Happy accidents. So, there's a guy here. Go here. And, you know, I'm just, I'm just not going to draw them. I don't, I don't feel like. I'm drawing that right now. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish the show. <laughs> just draw. Um, it's kind of a grayish. I'm like, I'm gonna fill it with some gray. Get closer to the actual color here. Oops, and that's kind of blending in with the background because uh, we had some gray tones back there. Remember, this is so we finished the lean. We're kind of going on the fat now, uh, this upper layer. So uh, the um, painting of level one would be you just like take all your turpentine or and drink it or like pour it in the drain or something because you're not using any turpentine at this point. So let's get some detail in on this. This show. And 
and if uh, <laughs> sorry, um, oh, it's kind of like an orangey color here. So let's get some, get some in there. Yeah, like that. And um, this lady over here is just kind of orangey, so let's just draw her in real quick. Yeah, looks good. I'm liking how well, that's turning out. This is kind of a uh, Kakashka esque. You know, it's not so much painting what you necessarily see per se, but it's um, painting more or less your impression of this. You might hear the term Impressionism sometimes, uh, as though it were an actual movement, but um, Impressionism actually never existed. Um, it's more of a psychic initiative in the art move in the art world towards formless kind of bullshitty, like, fuzzy shit. So, like, if you're into that, which I have nothing against people that are, um, it's just not for me. Um, it's, 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 you're well welcome to do so. Um, but know that I am judging you. So this one, this is nearing completion. Let's just cut, put in a horizon line and we're going to call this one done. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'll be doing uh, Salvador Dali uh, master copy for my for my next video, um, so tune in for that. Thank you, um, the viewers, for um, for watching, and thank you to my sponsors, uh, Motorola and Kudo and uh, Tim Hortons for um, for the money. Um, anyway, that's all. Thank you. See you next week.